Eating fish can be very healthy with a beneficial dose of omega-3. But it can also pack a punch of mercury. So what do you need to know? Well, we got Garcia. Anna Garcia is here now to sort out the confusion for us. Yeah, we've got some good results here. It sounds really simple. The Food and Drug Administration sets a level for mercury in fish, but does that level protect you? We went seafood shopping to get some answers. Fish is a source of lean protein and omega-3s, which are touted to promote heart and brain health, so who wouldn't want to eat lots of it? The entire population should be aware of what the risks are from eating mercury and fish. David McGuire works with Got Mercury, a nonprofit whose mission it is to protect people and the planet from mercury. Because of his expertise in gathering fish samples, we asked him to help us collect fish. And this is all caught off of San Pedro? Yeah. Okay. We went to a fish market market on the coast, to brand name markets in LA and Burbank, and to a sushi restaurant. Then we sent our samples to the University of San Francisco to be tested to see how many would be below the FDA level of one part per million. We analyzed as per EPA methods. Assistant Professor Allison Lungen and her grad students submitted the samples to rigorous testing. The results? We found that all three of our swordfish samples were higher than the one PPM. It didn't matter where the swordfish was bought or caught. Our three samples came from different countries, Indonesia, Australia, and the U.S., caught right here off the coast of Southern California. This is Big Eye. Next highest was one tuna sample, Big Eye Tuna Sushi, with a mercury level of 0.97 parts per million, barely below the FDA level. And there's nothing you can do to remove it, so it's not like cooking it will remove it. People are not getting sick from mercury. Gavin Gibbons is with the National Fisheries Institute a trade group for the fishing industry. People are not becoming mercury poison from fish that is currently in the market. Dr. Joseph Shabarasi, an MD who specializes in holistic medicine, disagrees. If a person eats fish every day, they're eating between 1 and 10 micrograms of mercury on average every day. That is cumulative. These tests show an elevated mercury level from a patient who ate sushi multiple times a week. Subsequent tests show a decrease after she stopped eating so much of it. We know that even low levels can be toxic for some people. Both the EPA and the International Agency for Cancer Research classify methylmercury, the kind found in fish, as a possible human carcinogen. So how can you benefit from the omega-3s in fish without building up mercury in your body? Australian swordfish. Eat fewer large fish like off. swordfish and shark and eat more shrimp and small fish such as tilapia, salmon and sardines. Smaller fish have less mercury because they don't live long enough to accumulate so much. If you would like to see a full list of all types of fish and their average mercury levels based on the FDA's test results, we have a link on our website, NBCLA.com. And if you think we should be looking at something, give us a call at 818-520-TIPS or email us at getgarcia at NBCUni.com. Kathy?